I'm from this small town and I was able to go, live in, go to Villanova. So I was just already proud from that. When I told her that, it wasn't only Villanova, it was a bunch of other schools as well that they were gonna give me a full ride to go to the school and uh, get an education for free. I don't think that she knew what that was, you know, and, cause that never happened before in our family. And so uh, you know, I've been very lucky, very blessed to be in that situation. And uh, I'm thankful that my mom got to uh, experience that and didn't have to spend no money, so. <laughs> From being where I come from, a lot of people don't really go to that level. So I was very blessed to be able to do that. And for me, like any outside pressure, it didn't really matter because I really felt like I already won. So it, it, it didn't really matter to me. I just knew that I was gonna, I was gonna succeed regardless because I already did. So I started in Bosconia. So it was like, it was like Spanish, but it was like different Spanish. If that meant, it, it was just it wasn't it wasn't the Spanish that I was really used to. They talk different differently, and uh, they use different words. But I thought I knew Spanish, but then it was like, nah, this ain't Spanish. This is a little different. So, but it was cool though. I got to learn. I got to learn some more, and um, the food was good and everything like that. So it it wasn't it wasn't a bad transition at all. To be honest with you, it was just like. I'm not gonna be here long. <laughs> As any of, like any American would say, like, who's coming from the NBA, it's like, all right, I'm gonna just go over here real fast, do what I gotta do, and get back to America. But um, it doesn't work like that, and uh, I learned that fast, that it, it's, it's, it's a process, and it takes a lot of time and a lot of uh, dedication to kind of um, get through those stages, and you can't skip any steps. And so um, I'm glad I made that transition, though, for sure. Every, every place that I've been, Basconia, Seska, and then here, I definitely feel like I evolved more and more, not just as a player, but as a person. You know, you, you see different things, you experience different things, and you know, all in all, I think that makes you a better person too. I'm gonna be truthful, I didn't really see myself at Seska long term. Like, I just didn't, nothing against that organization or that club. They do everything very professional and everything is smooth over there. They take great care of you, but, uh, yeah, Russia just wasn't my thing. You know, it was just it was just kind of overwhelming with the weather and the, just how the the vibe is out there. It was just a little different, and uh, it was a good experience. So I'm glad we did it. But honestly, I just didn't see myself there long term. But as far as the war goes, um, yeah, God does definitely work. You know, I'm glad I wasn't there. But I also have friends there who are who are still at Sesco, who are still in Russia. So uh, you know, I continue to pray for them. I hope hope the best for them. So. It's a tough situation, definitely. I got a son who's two, be three in May, and uh, he's seen me play in Europe and he's been to those games, so it'd be kind of cool for him to see an NBA game as well. I mean, if it happens, it happens, but if it, and if it doesn't, you know, it's cool too, but um, there's different motivations there now to, to kind of just see if the NBA is a possibility. But if not, I love Munich, so it's a win-win for me. When I was in the NBA, I was a rookie, and I was young, and, uh, it was just different, you know, it was, it was, I think I had more responsibility here, uh, more on my shoulders, um, um, as far as like, you know, being one of the leaders of the team. Um, and when I was in the NBA, I was kind of learning, trying to figure out my way and trying to see, you know, who I was and, and, and what type of player I wanted to be. So, um, which is another reason why, you know, I think about the NBA, because, you know, what if I was in a different situation where I could have had more responsibilities and things like that. So. Um, it's, it is a lot of what ifs and a lot of question marks that I, I would like to answer, so. <laughs>